we're moving on to look at the CMS itself. Prior to this, we looked at this website. It has your CMS information, your username, password, where to go. So this link right here, this edit cms.wcm, I tried to load it in the last video, but it didn't load. So right now, I've got it loaded, and the first thing you're going to get is a sign-on screen. And this is where this username and password right here, your employee ID and the password will be used. So my user, I put my username in, I put my password in, and I hit sign in. Now if the password you have isn't working, then send a note to somebody on the Tridian team. Um, we prefer to have something in the help desk. So at this link right here, there's this minute service ticket. That's why you would prefer to get it. So somebody that's, if somebody, if you send the password to somebody that's not online or out for the day or something, somebody else will get it. So when I put in my username and password, I open it up to this welcome uh, Colette Johnson at the top. And we've got these links across the side. The only link, and then in the middle we have this favorites. So the only link you're ever going to need to look at is this Content Explorer. In the Content Explorer, you should have a little box up top that has shortcuts, and we're going to talk about those uh, possibly in the next module. And then you're going to have, you're not going to see the this 000 scalability, the 010 or the 015 shared content levels. Those are mostly for administration purposes for the developers. But you will see an 020 with your agency name, like admin content or autism content. And you're also going to see, I'm going to scroll down because I can see all of them, so that makes it a little more confusing for you. But you, you're also going to have an 050 admin website level or for example, the autism website level, the 050 level. You are not, unless you're an admin or autism, you're not going to see those. You're going to see your own agencies. And you possibly might see links to an 020 and an 050 sandbox content and sandbox website, 050 sandbox website. So I'm going to recommend that you don't practice in your own websites. You should have the O2O Sandbox content and the O5O Sandbox website. Those should be where you play right now while you're learning. And if I open it up, I'm going to see the information that's inside of there. In the O2O, the folder that I'm mostly going to look at is the yellow building blocks folder. And then I'm going to go down to the website content sandbox. And this is the structure of my current website, or these are the components in my current website. If I go down to the 050 in sandbox, and I open that up, in the 050 level, you're going to be working in the root folder. So the root, root, the root folder are structure groups. And if so these pink structure groups are going to mimic the navigation on my site. And inside those, we're going to have something that has this little square with the world on it. And those mean they're pages. So the pink are structure groups. The little pages with the little world are, the little icon with the world, these are actual pages on that website. And if I look at the navigation, I'm over here on the left looking at the root folder, you see that I have Let's Learn, Wake Up Cafe, our website, Showcase User Group Discussions. And if I go up here to the tab with the actual website, you'll see I see Let's Learn, Wake Up Cafe, our website, Showcase User Discussions, User Group Discussions and Practice Space. So those are exactly the same things that these say. 
So that's where you build your navigation at. So if I go under here, under Let's Learn, we'll see Introductions Resources. Introductions Resources FAQs. This effective metadata should be removed if it's not live right now. But you'll see that's how the navigation, the structure groups are built. And we'll build a structure group in the next module. The 010, the 020, uh, the 050 in front of them, there's nothing magic about what to name it, but this is how I, that I tell Tridium this is the order I want it in. If I didn't have numbers in front of it, it would just be an alphabetical order. But because I have 010, 020, 050, when Tridium loads and renders the navigation, it sees that and it knows what order to put them in. And we'll be talking about uh, structure groups in the next module. But I just wanted to show you some of the things that you're going to be looking at in the 020 level and the 050. So again, in the 020 level, this is content. This is where I build my content, my pieces of content. And then in the 050 level, which is what's showing here also, this is where I build my pages and my structure. And I use the content I build in the 020 level on pages in the 050 level. So I'm going to stop this module and we'll go on to the next.